While preparing for my trip to Andong, I was taken back by its abundance of rich and profound cultural heritage. Not knowing much about the significant and beautiful place, I was excited to explore the world heritage of Ando and to connect with its truest cultural elements of Korea. Feels so good. Road is so impressive. I feel like I'm time traveling. Oh, the silhouette of these houses are amazing. It's like the roofs are picture frames. It says Dosan Suwon Academy. This is the most famous World Heritage Site in Nando. Soan refers to a private academy built just outside the capital about 500 years ago. What is so special about this tiny academy? And what has gone on behind these walls for it to be listed as a World Heritage? This is spectacular. that this is, this is the perfect place because you had the mountain in the back and you had the river or the lake in front of you. The academy was strategically positioned at the base of this majestic mountain where a peaceful river flows beside it. The intention of the Korean Confucius Academy was to make sure structure and nature Harmonize as one. Oh, this is amazing, look at that. Five hundred years ago, Confucianism was the primary academic studied in Korea. This study taught the duties to be a decent character. Most of the moral cultures and modern traditions observed by Korean people of the time originated in and grew within Confucianism. Dosan Suwon was an academy of learning Confucianism and the groundwork of this philosophical study. And this place is closely related to Yi Huang. Uh, this is the Thousand Yuan Korean Note. And this portrait is of the legendary scholar Li Huang. And it's used as frequently as the US dollar. The first president of the United States, George Washington, is on the $1 USD bill. A highly respected person and who had a significant influence on U.S. history. Does this mean scholar Yi Huang is also regarded in such a high manner? <laughs> 